November 1st, Jamaica, Queens, House of Glory, fight or flight, the dream match. It is time to do work. You are absolutely correct. David Adams, take it away, buddy. Right the House of Glory world champion, the king of flight, King Ricochet. Ricochet has had a monumental year, winning championships all over the world. All over the country, all over the world, and most importantly, won the championship here at House of Glory. Uh, Ricochet holds the distinction of being the first ever House of Glory world champion. This is his biggest defense yet. And he's taking on the best of the world to come here. But now he's going to be going against someone who's a world warrior. And somebody he's never faced before. And that man is low key. Standing ovation for the champ. The matchup the world has been waiting for. House of Glory is the one that brings it to you. First time ever, maybe the last time ever. Normally, when you see a match like this, the champion is the one who comes out last. But this is low-key stopping grounds. He is the hometown hero, and he is looking to not only win this championship, but make an example here on his turf. Here he comes, the world warrior, Low Key. Low Key is so focused, I'm not sure if I've ever seen anyone with a look in their eyes that's as cold and callous and calculated as Low Key's. Low Key personifies intensity. You're not going to find a more intense competitor than Low Key. Gettles adding some final words, making sure everyone knows what's at stake. They're in Brooklyn. They're in low-key stomping ground. His stomping ground, his house, could it be his night? crowd a main event worthy of the debut of the NYC arena low-key ricochet had been talked about for a number of years here we go I've never I've never been in a wrestling event when some of the fans are telling others to shush like they're in a movie theater 
We're going to witness nothing short of a masterpiece, a work of art between two individuals who have rightful claim to call themselves two of the best wrestlers in the world. But a lot of words have been said, especially on Loki's side, who's normally a man of few words. But he said that even though he acknowledges what Ricochet has done, he's not a wrestler like Loki is. He hasn't done the things Loki has, and he's just an acrobat that's carrying that belt. No, strong words from Loki. And listen, he's got the lineage, he's got the resume to back up those words. Ricochet has had an amazing career, especially within the last year or two, heading to Japan, winning the Super Juniors, a, a tournament that Loki knows all about. He was a finalist in. Ricochet also coming to us, the Dragon Gate, open oh, Dragon Gate champion. And now we have got a guard position here by Loki and Ricochet. And this is, this, this is a wrestling, this is like a shoot fight. This is, this is, I thought we were in the octagon for a second. Now we're, now we're pure wrestling style here. I don't know if this is Ricochet, if this is Ricochet's best strategy here to feed into the pure wrestling style here of low key. Very renowned in this style, very map based, very MMA like style of training that Loki goes through. This may not be the best way to start this matchup for Ricochet. Loki is dangerous from all angles, and right now he got the the the, the, the winning end of this confrontation is Ricochet had to go to the ropes to break up the hole. Just ran down Ricochet's accomplishments over the last year or so. He's accomplished so much. You talk about accomplishments, you're talking about Loki, former X Division champion in TNA, the original, the first ever Ring of Honor world champion, something that Ricochet has accomplished here at House of Glory, being our initial world champion. Loki knows all about the honor and the dignity of being the first champion, and he's gonna break Ricochet in and show him exactly what he's been talking about and those responsibilities. The thing is, he can do all the things Ricochet can. I know there's a lot of people that they see Ricochet and, and, you know, he is an innovator, not taking anything away, but anything Ricochet can do, Loki believes he can do better, and I can't argue with that. I not, do believe that Loki many, may be the better man. Not too many people can. We're going to have to see a different side of Ricochet tonight. What a, You can say a lot about Loki and his technical ability, his wrestling style. What has been and what will always be Loki's greatest strength is his aggressiveness. Well, we're seeing some of that strength uh, and definitely a lot of aggressiveness going into it as he pins, he pins Ricochet down after that uh, Greco-Roman knuckle lock. We're gonna have to see a more aggressive side of Ricochet tonight if he looks to survive low key. Look at that balance. Look at that, that, that core strength there by Ricochet. And from one move right into the other, or Orsini. Locks in that arm bar. Ricochet smart, using his legs, getting right to the ropes. Do you think he's getting into the mind of Ricochet now? I think Loki is under the impression that he's been under the mind of Ricochet. Of all the opponents Ricochet has faced, I can't remember the last time Ricochet has verbally given so much respect to his opponent. Maybe Loki already feels like he's got some sort of mental advantage. Loki, Loki. is in. I'm sorry. Loki is aggressive. He's intense. Ricochet is going to have to match that to keep up. Well, we're about to see what's going on. Both men just measuring each other. Who's going to strike first? Lock up. This matchup is very personal, but very different from the personal reasons we saw earlier with the County of the King's Street fight. That was more of a blood feud. I think these two men want to find out who really is the better competitor here. I mean, you never know what you're going to get from either of these men. You know, you... We, we, we heard Ricochet called the future of flight. But he is standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with Loki, and right now he actually won that little uh, exchange there. I think it's a feeling out process right now, Loki and Ricochet. Remember, this is a first time ever meeting. These two individuals have never been in the ring together. It's, out, it's amazing to think that these two haven't crossed paths yet, but they haven't. First time ever right here in Hogs presenting it. Nice leverage there, advantage by Loki, trying to keep on. Traps around him. Going for the ride right now. Ricochet smart, keeping his right arm up, not trying to give away any kind of advantage. Well, every time they went to the mat, Loki manages to find himself putting Ricochet in a submission maneuver. This time, tables are turned. I think Ricochet is trying to showcase to Loki that he knows a hold or two himself. 
But again, this may be playing into the strengths of Loki. Nice spin around there into the side headlock. Lo Ricochet trying to keep the advantage on Loki. Only maintaining that leverage. Loki now strengthening up. Loki is trying to straighten that back out. Oh, that's just that's just a oh. straight shot. And that's what you can expect from Loki. He's like an assassin in that ring. He will pick you apart if you allow him to. There's, I've seen him take out men in seconds. There's absolutely no doubting Ricochet is by far one of the most entertaining performers in the world of professional wrestling today. That is that is not an argument. Let me ask you a question, Rossini. We heard him say, we heard Loki say about Ricochet that you're not a wrestler, you're an acrobat. Uh, I was in gymnast. that interview, yes, you're I was in that interview. Do you actually believe that Loki thinks that, or is he just trying to get into the head of Ricochet? I, I do believe that Loki has respect for Ricochet. I think Loki was more or less speaking to the new generation style. The style of performing, maybe nothing personal against Ricochet, but when you talk about today's style, you're talking about Ricochet. He's one of the best. And you're seeing some oh. of it there. And you're seeing it there, right there, that athleticism, that kip up, right there. And there goes some of that acrobatic maneuvers. There goes some of the move maneuvers that uh, Loki was talking about. Ricochet looks like he's gonna fly. And he is not afraid to show off his acrobatic style. But never turn your back on Loki. Never turn your back on a world warrior. See, that was stupid, and he deserved that. And to feed into your point, this is what Loki was talking about. You can be athletic, you can flip around, you can fly, but at some point, you gotta touch the ground. And <laughs> he touched say, the ground yeah, right. he, in a very aggressive way. There's that mean Muda-like elbow right to the sternum of Ricochet. And there it goes. There it goes that leg. There goes that leg right there around the neck. More disruptions. But the, as but I said, we've been still focused. As I said, since the counties of King Street fight, we've been having a lot of technical issues here. From what I understand, when they made their way toward our announce table, there was a lot of equipment here that got damaged. So please but, excuse some of the stuff that's happening right now. But we're but just it, trying to get through the night. But it has not affected the wrestlers in the ring. And it, nor would it. I think they're in the zone right now. They're not hearing anything we're saying at all. Right now, Loki's got one goal, and that's to prove to himself he's better than Ricochet. Ricochet looked like he was trying to climb out of the ring. Would you blame him? You can get a breather oh. in there. The smart champion. I, I'm not saying I blame him, but I don't think you're going to get away from Loki. That's not, it's not uh, something you can afford to get. So he's not willing to give it. Mongolian chop there by Loki. Two strikes to the neck, trying to keep the kid grounded. That's right, he's a kid. He's showing the young boy what it's all about. I am not referring to Ricochet as a kid. I'm using Loki's own words. Oh, no. Loki, Loki said it best. Battle of two generations. This is Ricochet's generation. <laughs> they followed Loki's generation. Let's see where he measures up. He just tossed his entire sternum into the ring apron. Crafty veteran maneuver. Not afraid to get dirty. I like it. Ricochet has been House of, is the original House of Glory heavyweight champion. The crowd is split on both of these gentlemen right now. Ricochet fighting back. Oh, huge back elbow. Whatever Ricochet tries to do, Loki stays on top of him. Well, that comes with big match experience. Listen, Ricochet has competed all around the world. He's competed against the best. But that's what you mentioned earlier, exactly what Loki has done two, three times over. He's got the big match experience. I'm sure he's done his homework. He's watched the tapes. He's watched the game film. He knows what Ricochet is bringing to the table. Eyes from all over the world are on this match. Ricochet has had an amazing year, as I've already mentioned, but this could be the biggest match of his entire career right now. Ricochet said in that very same interview, Ricochet said, you know what, I believe I'm ready. I believe this is my time, and I got to agree with it. Loki has had a great career. He's still one of the best in the world, but Ricochet is by far one of the best champions in the world of professional wrestling today, and he's a half of glory champion. That said, 
He, you know, he's never been in a ring with a man like Loki. Loki has kept him grounded. Applying submissions, keeping him on the floor. Right now, chin checking each other. All right, well, these men are going to be standing. And it's looking like Loki to me. Ricochet still on his feet. Tit for tat, going move for move here, chop for chop. Ricochet's not backing down, he is fighting. He's going to be coughing up blood by the end of the night. And, and out goes Ricochet. Ricochet rolling out of the ring, trying to find some distance. I don't think he's ready. He says he's ready. I don't think he's ready. There is your next House of Glory champion right there, Loki. I, I, I don't. I'll believe it when I see it. I've seen Ricochet in a lot of positions similar to this, and he's found ways to win. Oh, The night that he won that championship. He won a grueling, grueling one-night tournament. Defeating Mark Quinn in the first round. Anthony Gangelon, your buddy over here, in the second round. And of course, defeating Drew Gulick in the finals. He defeated Smiley last month. This guy's on a roll. And I, and I don't mean any disrespect to the people that he's defeated. This is a different animal altogether. Crowd is absolutely split in half. This has got that big match feel. Loki can hurt you in so many ways. Every part of his body is a weapon. He's got that bear hug attached. Notice the leverage there by Loki, placing the, the pressure on his toes, adding that leverage, adding that pressure to the lower back of Ricochet. Ricochet fighting out of it. Oh, I like that. Just rubbing his feet into his face. Eat it, Ricochet. And a European uppercut. Oh, my goodness. Burst of energy. Oh, what a, what a kick by low key. That's that over. Lateral press, not enough. And Look now Loki right back. Chest. That's right. He has found his body part. He's going to the ribs, the lower back, the abdomen, that entire area. You can't fly if you can't breathe. Loki has said time and time again for this matchup, he was going to test Ricochet. It's been physical, it's been grueling, but Ricochet is still fighting and he's still on his feet. Oh, now the abdominal this. stretch. On a lesser man, on a lesser man, this hold is just a basic maneuver. When Loki applies it, it will finish you. Loki has spent a lot of time, hip lock counter. Loki has spent a lot of time working on that midsection. Ricochet finding the power to get out of the move, but you see the effects of all the attacks in the midsection nope. wearing out on him. That strategy has been working for low key. Right hand, European. And a chop across the chest. Oh. Whoa, whoa! Count all by Ricochet. Out of nowhere! Great counter by Ricochet, catching low key completely off guard. You know, that's got to be a, a little bit of a shot to Loki. Loki is very much known for his striking ability, especially with his legs, his kicks, and he just got kicked right in the noggin by Ricochet. Page out of Loki's book. And now Ricochet looking to build a little bit here. Oh, and a rear pin of his own. Whoa. Oh, no, he picks him up. Both oh, men Loki fighting for out. position. Two men right now so evenly matched. Loki again with another stiff drop kick, this time to the chest of Ricochet. Oh, he hops right over the referee. Mark Edels is in danger. He barely escaped it there. Uh, extremely close to the ropes. I, know, I gotta believe that that might have been desperation. Ricochet normally would have pinned somebody so close like that. Ricochet has to be filling the pinch. Has to be feeling right now. That wind can't be coming in as easy as it was at the beginning of this matchup. Now these two have been clubbing each other. 
hitting each other with everything but the kitchen sink. Ah, oh, stiff kick by Ricochet. Both of these men in such good condition. Nice. He's gonna fly. Oh! Wow, that could be it! That could be it! Springboard crossbody by the champ. Two count only. Every time he gets a chance to break out some of those spectacular moves, it ends up probably hurting him more after all that damage he's taken to the midsection. Yeah, but the king of flight is looking like he's, he's feeling it now. He's feeling a little bit of confidence. Standing shooting star press. Two count only for the champion. Still clutching his ribs though. It was announced at the, at the last show, the movement, that the winner between Ricochet and Smiley would get low key. And I'm sure he's been training hard for this matchup. These men are both in such phenomenal condition. What's Ricochet thinking? He's got him up. Looks like he's going for that regal plex. Still got him gut wrenched. Fighting out. Referee's got to get control. Finally breaks that grip. Here it goes. Oh! Wait. He's on his feet! Now, what's going on? One, two! Oh, and that kick out by Ricochet. Beautiful counter by Low Key. You're talking about catching a guy off guard. Loki can end you just like that. I'm surprised it didn't end right there. This matchup has been intense. This matchup has been all over the all over the ring. And a stiff kick. Oh, low key misses there. Ricochet picks him up. Northern Light Suplex. Floats over. We've seen him do this. Into a suplex. Oh! Beautiful move by Ricochet. Set over the ring. Hooks the leg. Only oh, two. Loki just barely managing to get his shoulder up. Got to give the man credit after all the damage to the midsection to have the guts to pull off that Northern Lights and then squeeze him into that suplex. Loki might be the most well-conditioned athlete I've ever seen. He's got a career that uh, goes over 10 years and still able to put on a performance like this. Now uh, Ricochet going upstairs, going to the top rope. Come on, Loki. Come on, Loki. You're in big Ricochet. Top rope and shooting star press. He got the knees up. Come on, Loki. You're in New York. This is New York City. Don't let everybody down. Hey, listen. This has been a pretty evenly contested match. Two count only for Loki. What a contest. Oh, you know what he's hooking up for. He's looking for that key crusher. Looking for that key crusher. A little close to the rope. We've seen him put away world champions with that very move. Oh. He's going to put away another one. I'm calling it. I believe it. Oh, wait. We've seen this from him, too. Setting him up for that warrior's way. Oh, but he gets that look in his eyes. That double stop from the top. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ricochet pulls him off. But well, this is where he's home. Those ropes are where he is home. The future of flight is what he calls himself. There he goes, springboard, and no. Well, he moves out of the oh, way. no. Title crush into the corner. Did he get all of it? He's going for the cover. One, for the one, cover there. Two. one two, no. Crowd loving the action. Ricochet looked like he was trying to escape. He still got caught, but I don't think he got caught with all of it. Awesome. Okay, now he's got him set up. Suplex position in the middle of the ring. Once again, going for that key crusher. Ricochet powers out, fireman's carry of his own. Missed the kick. Oh, oh kick. What a nice round kick. Got him up. Oh, my dear Lord. I've never seen Loki just fall like that. 
Oh, he's got him set up. He's going upstairs. Oh, is he gonna hit that 6.30? Oh! He hits it! No way! Pull no way! Up. He yeah. did it! him! Ricochet defends the House of Glory champion! The dream match was booked. It happened. And now we've got a winner, Ricochet. I've never seen a match like this before. Because you only have very few talents on the same level as these two gentlemen. What a phenomenal matchup between these two gentlemen. The House of Glory World Heavyweight Championship retained by the champion and respect from, from the hometown crowd. You know, I gotta say, I thought Loki was winning this because I agreed with him. I called Ricochet an acrobat. I said he wasn't on the same level as him, but you know what? He pulled one out. Amazing match. And the fans agree. Loki said going into this matchup, he was gonna test Ricochet. I think the kid passed the test tonight.